the cross country chase is next a race that divides opinion of course whether this should be or shouldn't be a Cheltenham Festival race fortunately for us in SO the SO world it's still a handicap which I think it's going to become a handicap again in real life as well much better when it's a handicap three miles seven furlongs and Gritar is at the top for John Morgan Sacred Memorial Leon Van Rensburg El Centro Wonderful Vinnie Gerard Donna Bin David Robertson Right Destination David Hooley Soldier's Garden Padraig Hogan Law Society Graham Clutterbuck Plava Laguna Padraig Hogan Amanda Matt Cooper Classic Chance Alex Cherry Triumph Spitfires Matt Cooper Sue Hall Thinking for Derek Hinton and Porter Tiller for Alex Cherry and called in and away in this unique course a very short run to the first fence which is a grand national type fence this is a race of course that we normally have Stu commentating on this but unfortunately Stu's not with us this year so you're gonna have to put up with me and I may get lost on the way around because there's all sorts of funny ways round and stuff and they're all safely over the second like I say it's good that it's a handicap still maybe not good that it's a 0-160 but at least it is a handicap. And Gritter is in the lead. One of those John Morgan front runners. Pretty sure he's planning on sending that to Liverpool next week with a name like that. But if he jumps like that, he won't get very far next week. They're all safely over it, despite one or two of them not jumping it all that brilliantly. Around the outside of those little gates, down a little hill, and over the next. And again, they're all over it okay, although one or two of them were a little bit untidy and take the next one again one or two of them hit it hard and got away with it the fence is coming up thick and fast of course in this in fact some would say this is maybe a stiffer test to jump in than next week's grand national because it's 33 fences and of differing so sizes and types whereas the grand national they're all pretty similar these days and gritter is the leader and donna bin second and law society is next been flanked by two Padre Hogan horses that take the jumbo dip, the jumbo hurdle. All right, I will safely over that. I don't know if it's called a jumbo hurdle, but that's what I'm going to call it. And Gritar is the leader. At least we've got no ploughed fields and car park fences in this race. Not that one we had earlier in the season, the Velka Pada Beaker. Was that week one or week two? Two, I think. Again, one of the races that's normally covered. By the housewife's favourite, Mr. Stu Gray, who hopefully will be back with us in the future. But it's Gritar in the lead, Donna being second as they take the 10th. More safely over that one. And Soldier's Garden, Law Society, and Pulsar Tiller. With Plava Laguna after that. Over the 11th they go. And all still on their feet. And Gritar in the lead. Those of you maybe not seen the opening four races, Darren Thompson won all three of the first three. He can't win this one because he's not in it. They're over these. This next thing, oh, is that called the Cheese Wedges? Oh, so is there a four there? There is indeed. Classic chance has gone. I just want a jockey skidding through the. Or flying through the air or skidding down a bank or whatever he was doing, but he's gone. Classic chance. Alex Cherry's still got Porter Tiller in there as they race down here to this water jump. They're all safely over, of course. The back marker Trump Spitfires is some way adrift of the rest of them. Gritar continuing to lead. Looks like getting over this bank thing. So they all give plenty of air and get over it, okay. Around the sharp turn. Gritar four clear. Three in a line then. Donna Bin, Soldier's Garden and Pulsatilla. Bit of a gap then to Amanda who's back in fifth. With Plava Laguna behind that one. Then Right Destination and Law Society. Uh, Suhal thinking the great as they get over the 17th. That one's been trapped by El Centro. Wonderful of the two shades of green. And then Triumph Spitfires has gone past Sacred Memorial who's the second top weight. The top weight is Gritar and he will be Pulling off something of a feat if he can lead all the way around here in the rain on top weight. Now that rain will be getting into the ground as well as they come back over these little things again. That's up, skipping a jump almost, isn't it? Over there. Grittar's the leader. That has been the leader throughout. Still got just under two miles to go, so long way to go yet. 
one and three quarters now nearly. With Porter Tiller a clear second. This is fence number 20 of the 33. We've still only lost the one. Amanda's now moved through into third. And Soldier's Garden and Plava Laguna. Don't have been after that for David Robertson, who's just won the champion hurdle. With Arnold Lane as they get over the next. All safely over that next one. And Grit are the leader. Coming into number 22 of the 33. And they're all safely over that as well. Grit are clear in front. Paul Satilla. Amanda and Soldron's Garden. And Dollar Bin and Plava Laguna. Oh, destination on the outside of Suhail Thinking with El Centro Wonderful in the green and then Law Society. Wide on the track, Sacred Reward has gone past Triumph Spitfires again, who's now been re relegated to last as they come down to take this water jump again. Getting all over that one, okay. Never seen a fall out of water, I don't think we ever will. It's Gritter in the lead. Donna Binney's making a good move around the outside as they take that next one. That was the 24th. Luckily the jockey on Grittar knows the way because how do they know which way to go? I wonder when they track because they just had to go around the outside of that sort of like wedge thing there, didn't they? Whereas the circuit before they were going around the inside of it. So presumably there are some sort of markers that show them where they're going. I haven't seen any men with sort of like pointing directions, but it must be quite confusing. Well, of course that you probably already ride over twice a season maybe. Uh, I thought you'd be riding it regularly. Grittar in front. Amanda second. Donna bin third. Mistake by Horse in fourth. Sacred Memorial. Then Plava Laguna Soldier's Gardens is next. Law Society is now being driven to get closer. The one that's really crept closer without really me noticing too much is Sacred Memorial. That one's crept right into a challenging position now. Right destination is being driven as well as we get down to the business end of the race. This is where Grittar's going to come under a bit of pressure with all this weight as they get over the 28th and now right destination has jumped into the lead and has suddenly gone two to three clear of Grittar who's now labouring a little bit in second. Then comes Amanda and Pulsatilla and then they get over this next one. This is the 29th of the 33. Sacred Memorial's trying to run on. Plava Laguna is after that one but suddenly clear now. Right destination. This is the third last and right destination is He's now six clear of Grittar who's getting a second wind and he's trying to close. Amanda's running a big race in third. Sacred Memorial's trying to run on. So too's Donna Bin. Not much else is going to get into it, I don't think, as they come down towards the final three. It's right destination in the lead by about six lengths to Amanda in second. Grittar is in third. In fact, they're coming down to the final two. It's right destination. He's got two fences between him and victory, but Amanda is closing. Grittar and Sacred Memorial under big weights are trying to run on. I don't think anything else is going to get into it, but Tron Spitfires, though, he's absolutely flying from the back. They're over the second last. They've got one to jump, and it's right destination who's clear, coming into it. Gets over it nicely. He's well clear. Amanda makes a mistake. Grittar moves back in a second and into the final furlong. It's right destination who is three to four clear. He's really tying up, but I think he's going to hold on. Grittar is trying valiantly to close. So too is Amanda Tron Spitfires and Soldron's Garden running on. But it's going to be right destination who takes it from a gallant Grittar in second. Amanda third, then after that one, Tron Spitfire Soldron's Gardens was next. And he lost a one in the whole race as well, which was pretty good. But the David Hooley horse that race to bed about five or six fences out really by bursting into the lead another big price winner on day one of Cheltenham right destination for David Hooley wins it Grittar for John Morgan was second Amanda was third and Trump Spitfires was fourth for Matt Cooper both running on really well Soldier's Gardens was fifth for Padre Hogan